Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a spicy book recommendation. So if you want to get into spicy books and why, or if you just want like more uh, recommendation, then keep watching. So I have um, just like normal romance books and I also have fantasy romance books that are spicy. So um so yeah i'm just going to uh show you uh, a few uh, of the books that i have that are uh, spicy i can make um another video with uh, other books that are also spicy but i don't want this video to be too too long so i only have five books so yeah i also apologize for the lighting it's very dark outside and it's kind of like hard to make it make everything bright in here so just bear with me but uh but yeah i'm trying to make it as like light as possible but as bright as possible in here but it's difficult but the first uh, book that i want to talk about is icebreaker by anna hannah grace and so this one i really enjoyed it i enjoyed this one i know it's not like everybody's favorite but i really enjoyed it i love all the characters in it and it's actually like a funny book and so if you want a romance that is like funny but also serious at the same time and this one is very very spicy so um there's a lot like they have a lot of sexy time so and i even thought that it was maybe a little bit too much like they like the spicy scenes were like every two chapters so i thought it was a little bit too much maybe it was like not necessary to have that much of that in in one book and it's also like a pretty short book it's, it's like 400 pages so uh so yeah it was, it was like a little bit too much but i really enjoyed their um, their relationship their like chemistry and it was really entertaining and and yeah, I really enjoyed this one. So uh, give it a try, and uh, and if you like it, there's um, a second book that is already out, and I then I have already read, and a third one is coming out, and it's about one of the characters in their friend group, and it's Henry, and I'm really excited about about his story because he's he's probably like my favorite character, and so so yeah. Okay, next we have. Twisted Games by Hannah Huang. Um, so you probably already uh, know this one, uh, or maybe you uh, you've heard about this series. And so this is the second book in the Twisted uh, series. So the first one is Twisted Love, then you have Twisted Games, and then Twisted Hate, and then Twisted Lies. And um, and so this one is about a princess and her bodyguard. And I read it like um, it was like um, in maybe in I think I read it in April or something like that. I don't remember. I was in Bali. I bought it in in Bali because I was there and I wanted to <clears throat> read some books. And um, so yeah, I I don't remember like a, a lot of like details about this book, but this is a forbidden romance and and so yeah when they have those like sexy spicy scenes it's even better because they're like it's forbidden like they can't be together and so um and so yeah just the way reese is with i think um it's bridget yeah i i love like how he cares about her and and I really enjoyed it, their their romance and and also the spicy scenes are uh, very intense and very good and so yeah I, I really enjoyed also uh, reading about uh, about this so so yeah I hope I remember enough but I still remember that the spicy scenes were like uh, one of the best in the in the series so I think my favorite book in the series is probably this one and i also liked twisted love also uh, even though it's i think it's like not everybody's favorite but um but this one i think was my favorite and it was especially because of the spicy scenes so so yeah i really enjoyed this one <clears throat> okay now i want to talk about 
uh, it's a series of uh, uh, I, I think it's going to be six books so it's a lot of, uh, of, of books but it's the um, plated prisoner series so I have a gleam here with me and also glow that I just finished a few days ago uh, but first of all uh, we have gleam and uh, so this is the third book in the series and uh, this series is about is a King Midas retelling and we follow Oren uh, who is um, uh, held captive by the King Midas um, and he keeps her in a gilded cage and and she is also made of gold and everything is made of gold, the castle, everything and it's said that King Midas has a golden touch so it can turn everything into gold um, you have to like go through the the, the first one and the second one before uh, arriving before getting to uh, this one and um, and the love interest changes because uh, the first love interest uh, in this series is the worst <laughs> and so uh, the first like um, it's the first and second book are a little bit uh, spicy but not like too much and the spicy scenes are not really um, like romantic it's kind of like the opposite it's, it's kind of like hard sometimes to read uh, because it's not like what you would want for yourself and so and so yeah and when you get to the third book and the fourth book you get new love interest and and their chemistry is like palpable like you like I really really wanted them to uh, finally like have their moment together and uh, the main like male character uh, like the love interest is just the best like it's one of my favorites uh, of like every book that I've read um, especially like fantasy books like he's he's the best and I love him and I was really excited for them to get closer and uh, get like uh, and that we can we could get into like their relationship and also their like more spicy scenes which I enjoy uh, a lot too so uh, and it, this book is really, 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 uh, like you get like their first uh, moment together and so I was really enjoying that and it's really, really good and in the in the fourth one you get a little bit more uh, of their um, relationship and also a little bit more spicy scenes and, and I don't want to like obviously like, spoil too much of the series uh but the main uh so oren the male the main female character is uh learning like more about herself and they're like moments like spicy moments together or um like change a little bit and it's really really interesting to to see that and it's very different than the first book where it's kind of like more what you would expect but this one is kind of like their like relationship a changes a little bit and it's you can you can like also see it in so yeah has as her character uh, evolves this uh, also has like a an effect on like their moment like together and so and so yeah really enjoyed also uh seeing that so so yeah i was really excited uh to actually like read everything it's a big book so i was still like enjoying it uh while reading it and so uh, even though it's like super long but uh, but i will talk about this one in my wrap up uh, at the end of the month uh if you want to know more about uh, what i think about this one but um but yeah the, if you're talking only about the spicy scenes in this one is like different than in the third one and i really enjoy like seeing that and and yeah it's really exciting so the last book that i'm going to talk about in uh, this video uh, i have more but i will do another one maybe like next month or the month after maybe i will like do another like uh, video like this but like different theme uh, but the last book is bonded by thorns by elizabeth ellen so there's like two it's two people it's not like the one author it's like two authors and so the um, this book i haven't like seen anyone like talk about it i saw in a, in a video but it, it was like a book haul not like 
the person didn't actually like uh, read it i don't remember like her name but uh, she uh, got it in like a package and she was just showing the book and it was and i looked at the looked at the cover and i found it was like really really pretty and so i i was like intrigued and i wanted to like know what it was about and it's nothing like groundbreaking <laughs> um but um I don't know, I wanted to try it out and it's not like the spiciest book ever but the spicy scenes that there's in in there is all very very intense and I really like that. So basically it's uh, the story of... Um, so basically we follow Rosalina who is a human uh, and she and her father like is obsessed with the fairy world and He's convinced that his wife has been abducted by the by the fairies, like the fairy fae folk, uh, and so he tries to go there uh, to bring her back. And um, and so yeah, so uh, Rosa Rosalina thinks that he's a little bit like mad, um, but that's her father, and she loves him, and so yeah, uh, she. Um, one day she follows him because he disappeared and so she ends up in the fae, in the fairy world and so she meets uh, four prince and so they're all cursed and each uh, every night they turns they turn into uh, wolves and so yeah, it's a bit it's a, it's a beauty in the best retelling so uh, and so yeah she tries to break the curse and then we go from there and and so yeah there's like um i don't know how it's uh there's like trigger warnings so definitely i check the trigger warnings too but uh but yeah the four princes are like very different and they have like their own personality and they're very very different um uh, people and um and they're i don't know they're really obviously like really really um good looking and and so yeah, it's uh, and they're like absolutely obsessed with uh, Rosalina and they spend a lot of time together because there is just all like four of them in the castle with Rosalina so and you also get a little bit of ma male male scenes so spicy scenes so it is not a lot of like actual like um I think it's more like sexy than like spicy, it's not like very um, um, like um, actual like, I don't know, I can't say that word so I'm not sure like how to, to explain that but um, uh, without like saying like words that are going to get me in trouble but, uh, but it's more like the tension between them that is really really intense and, and it's obviously like just um, written in a way that it's like you you kind of like in there too with them and it's just like really really intense so yeah, and I also really enjoy like the story the plot and um, and yeah it's really interesting and you also want to like know uh, about like um, about them and you get to know also about them a little bit more they're like a little bit of they all, they all the princes have like their personal issues and struggles, and so you obviously learn about that too. And so, um, but they all, um, okay. My light just gave up, so <laughs> I said a bit less uh, bright in here. But um, but yeah, I just wanted to say that uh, it's really like entertaining as well as spicy, and it has like everything. Um, and the other princes are uh, all the princes are um, uh, like worshiping uh, almost like Rosalina and I found like I'm um, super like cute and also spicy at the same time and it's not like really really spicy it's not like a lot uh, of uh, those scenes um, every time so um, but it's just like very like uh, attention like between them like there's a lot of that in the book so um so yeah but there's also a plot next to it so it's a little bit of both that's why i like that but yeah that was the last uh book 
that I wanted to talk about. I have uh, more books, but um, uh, maybe I will do another video like this. So if you want me to talk about like a certain like certain tropes or like I don't know certain um, if you want me to give like other like book recommendations about like other types of books, then uh, tell me in the comments and I will definitely uh, do it in another video, maybe next month. Um, but yeah. Uh, tell me if you enjoyed in the comments and I will see you in my next video.